Previously on The Walking Dead. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. Well, here isn't doing us any good. You should think about coming with us, you and Clem. No one's trying to cut you out of anything. Those look like the people who raided my Calm camp. Calm down, you're paranoid. Fuck you! Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. He's not dead! Somebody help me! Come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it! Get him! What the fuck?! Sounds like a car. It's a shitload of food and supplies back here. You're right. We shouldn't take this. The rest of us are taking this stuff. Don't worry, little girl. Bandits got their eye on that dairy. As long as they keep getting food from them, you'll be safe. Looks like this is our lucky day. Yeah, this might actually go smoothly. We deserve it after last time. up your mind yet? About what? When it comes to the getting the hell out of Macon. I bet you're in the let's stay put camp considering I've been pushing everyone to leave. We should go. The motel's run its course and it's not safe. Well if that's what you think you should probably fucking speak up. Lily's dug in. Just like last time. Over the rig, into the pharmacy, and scrape together whatever supplies are left. We didn't leave much in there. Hey, we're out of options. Something's better than nothing. <sighs> Shit. You okay? The ladder's come loose. I'm not sure how many more trips she's got in her. I'm not sure how many more trips we've got in us. No kidding. There's no safe way through that mess. Looks like she's had it. What now? I'll find another way up. I better get a move on. Kenny, come on. Ah, uh, shit. Damn it. I can't reach. <sighs> Sorry, pal. All right, stay put. They're blocked by all the fallen concrete. Fallen concrete. Mm. That 
it's completely flat. Huh. Looks like it still works. Lily's not doing so good, huh? It's not good. I'm worried. No shit. There's a lot to be worried about. She's gonna snap. Upset with me for taking stuff out of that car last week? What do you think? Christ, I've heard your opinion. What's done is done. Duck was asking about that guy at Herschel's farm last night. Really? I wasn't sure it phased him. Of course it did. What'd he say? He wanted to know if Herschel's son somehow made it. Pretty sure he knows he didn't. Don't worry, you made out like a hero in his eyes. It's not like that. You're sure you're up for this? Lee, I'm fine. I've got this. Give me your hand. Uh, oh. Shit! Okay? No, Dick, I'm shot. No, get off here. clear this place out, but we ain't got all day. Get everything you can out of these racks. Don't forget underneath the counter this time. I'll clear down here and then we gotta go. time now. Oh, <laughs> 
through. Fuck! Incoming! Come on, Lee! Up and over. Still clear. Let's hustle! You're back. Ben found some stickers in a drawer, and I put them on my walkie. Hey, sweet pea. That's neat. I'll find you in a minute. Looks like we got the kid on watch again. What'd you get? We might as well leave a sign out that says the men are gone. Come and rape our women and children. So, what did you get? A lot of stuff. We're fine, by the way. Nice work. This'll keep us going. If we carry on like this, we'll get through the winter here. The winter? We'll freeze our asses off here! Because piling into an RV with you, after what you did to my dad, is so appealing. Why wouldn't it be? You know I'll do what it takes to keep everyone safe. We're already safe. Take a look at the wall, Lily. That's not graffiti. Those are bullet holes. And we got enough arrow shafts sticking out of it to dry our laundry. We have to go eventually, Lily. I know, Lee. I know. Eventually is different. At it again, are we? Can it, Carly. Don't boss people around. I'm sorry. Somebody needs to make executive decisions for the group, though. And I don't think you're capable anymore. We're strongest together. I know you think I'm on her side, but there are no sides, damn it. What about the food situation? What about protection? What about when this place falls? Somebody's got to be thinking about this shit. How has this not been working? We have everything we need. Because of me, Lily. No, because Lee knows how to take care of people, not just things. What about medicine? What about medicine? We deal with shit as it comes, just like we always do. And when 15 bandits hop over that wall in the middle of the night? What then? You just gonna deal with that? Everything that happens to us is another excuse for you to pull this crap about leaving. All I want is a week of peace, of not hearing it. Do you know how we got these supplies? Your pal and I got lucky and let a girl get eaten out there. What? Some girl came screaming out of an alley. She had dead hanging all over her. She gave us enough time to get everything we could out of the drugstore. And you just let her suffer like what? Like bait? What is happening? She was dead anyway. It made the most sense in the moment. Lee's right. We've been putting our lives on the line doing these runs into the city. You wouldn't believe the shit we see. We all appreciate it, Karen. You should be thanking Lee for not shooting that girl. It's not so easy for him. Look, Macon and its people aren't savable. It's not a town. It's full of walkers. And the people who were left are dying and wandering out onto the streets. It's hell on earth. 
And it's coming. This way. It's not going to be easier out on the road! How would you know? What I know? I know you're not above murder. I know somebody has been stealing our supplies. That's right. Stealing! And I know the list of people I can trust here gets smaller every day! Now everybody get out! She'll get over it. She's riling everybody up otherwise. You understand, Ken. All I know is, whenever this shit happens, I'm the fucking bad guy. I'd like a thank you for once. For once! Ooh, things are coming to a head. You could say that. Well, I think you did good today. And I find myself thinking that most days. Thanks. It's probably worth following up with Lily about what she was saying about missing supplies. With her wound up the way she is, I don't want to see her paranoid. No question. And I'd like to talk when you've got a minute. to Lily yet? No, not yet. I will. What I wanted to say was, I've been thinking a lot about you. What about? You're a convicted killer. Carly, Jesus. And I think people should know. Not because they deserve to, and not because you're a bad man. I think the opposite of those two things. People need to know because we're hanging by a thread here, and I can't see Lily talk about you without thinking it's the next thing she's going to say. You don't have to tell everyone, but think about who you trust and take the opportunity while you have it. You're probably right. Of course I'm probably right. People might be pissed, and telling them might cause some trouble, but it will be a far cry from what'll happen if they don't hear it from you. Yeah. So you'll do it then? I'll let people know. You're totally right. Good. I think it's for the best. You'll thank me later. Now, is there anything else you want to talk about? You really think people are ready to hear about me? It's not a matter of ready or not. There's never going to be a good time, but there are going to be a lot of bad ones. Right now doesn't seem like one of them. But everyone's different. Who knows how each person would take it, you know? Maybe it's worth thinking about who you want to tell. Do you feel safe here? Show me a bath with a heated floor and a high-rise apartment and hand me a full-bodied Malbec and then I'll feel safe. I don't know. This place is fine, but we all know that that could change at any second. You, uh, have any thoughts about Lily? I worry about her. That's about it. She keeps trying to run things, but it's just not working. I'm gonna look into this thing. Good idea. Hey, Clementine. Hey, Lee. What's that you're working on, Clem? It's called a leaf rubbing. My teacher, Miss Moore, showed us how to do them when we went to the botanical garden once. See? It's the same. Um, kind of. Uh, that's really something. I'll make one for you, too. Do you like it here? I don't like it here. Do you want to leave? Where are we going? Somewhere else. I don't know. Maybe if I knew where? Yeah. That'd be a good thing to know. Clem, I need to talk to you for a second. Okie dokie. The day you and I met, I was in a car accident. I remember. Your leg was bleeding. 
The car I was in was a police car, and I was on my way to jail for committing a crime. I need to tell you now, because I don't want you to hear it any other way. Okay. Do you have anything to say? I don't think so. You can uh, go on back to your things. Hey, you two. How are you doing? We're okay. Just having a little spat. We all carry guns now, and I don't like it. It's the way it's gotta be. I know, but I'm not getting used to it. I'm sorry. How are you, Lee? Kenny, you got a second? I need to tell you something. Yeah? What do you got? It's serious. Okay, should I sit down? Come on. I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. No shit. No shit. Wasn't for touching kids, was it? No, it wasn't. Because we got two here. I killed a guy in a fight. Should I be worried there's anything else in your past that's gonna come out? No. Good. But you should know, if we gotta make numbers when it comes to a boat, this is gonna matter. Hi, guys. Can I talk to you about something? Sure. Is everything okay? I was, uh, on my way to prison three months ago. You've always looked at me with kind eyes. I wonder if you could still do that if you, uh, knew I was a convicted fella. My goodness, for what? How much trouble can a teacher get into? Well, plenty. But it had nothing to do with that. It was for murder. Why? He and my wife, uh... That's were... enough. Tell me what happened when you were locked in the fridge at the dairy. I was given Larry CPR with Lily. Kenny came in from out of nowhere and put a stop to it. What did he do? He smashed his head in. <gasps> gotcha. Everything keeps changing. It's Lily's room. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. Did you come in here to give me hell or to coddle me? You have to chill out. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. I just... I feel like a crazy person. Can I do anything for you? Yes. I need help. There's a traitor. Somebody. One of us. Out there. He or she or they have been taking things. For real? Who? Oh, what do you got? Yes, for real. And I don't have shit. I just know. Lily. It counts off and it's the good stuff. Antibiotics, oxy, fuck, anything with opium in it. I see the count, and it's fine. I keep my own. That one's getting messed with. I'm a fucking mess right now, but I'm not stupid. I know what happens if I start a witch hunt. So you want me to start one? I want you to poke around. What's there to go on? 
I found this tossed into the garbage. Huh. We don't toss out equipment, we fix it. You'd only try to get rid of a flashlight if you were using it when you shouldn't. Okay, I'll poke around a little bit. Thank you. A mystery. Jesus, Doc. I'm sorry. Um, I heard you guys talking. You need to unhear all of that. Can I help? What did I just say? You're the Grace Detective, and I can be Dick Grayson, your ward. That's Robin. I know who it is. Okay, you're Robin. Yes. What do I do? I, I don't know. Go look around. Let me know if you find anything weird. I'm on the case. You didn't accidentally break a flashlight, did you? No. Did Duck say I did? No. Did, uh, Duck break the flashlight? I don't think so. He's just always blaming me for stuff. Like what? Putting a bug on his pillow. Did you do that? Yes. I'll talk to you later, Clem. Okay. Talk to Kenny about who I am. And? I don't know. Feels like I just gave him ammo, if we ever have to make any tough decisions when it comes to a headcount. Ah. Uh, well, don't worry. I talked to Katja. How'd she take it? She was fine, I guess. I think she's more upset about Kenny. Because of the St. John's? What exactly did he do back there? Oh, don't you start now. I talked to Clementine about things. How'd she handle it? I don't know. She's tough to read. She adores you. Don't worry. Do you know anything about this flashlight? It's broken. I know it's broken. And the batteries might be in backwards. It uses just one. Everything should. What was the question? Did you break the flashlight? No. Okay. I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. You guys know anything about this broken flashlight? Fuck. We don't got many of those. Yeah, it's a problem. The glass and the bulb are all busted out. I saw some broken glass over by the ice machine. I meant to clean it up before the kids hurt themselves on it. I forgot, though. The flashlight was broken. Was it you? No. You're not in trouble if it was. I know you get nervous, and maybe you went out to go to the bathroom, broke it, got worried, and tossed it. What's with the third degree? I didn't break any flashlight. Okay, then. it is I don't think it's anything maybe it's a sign it could be it's pink chalk which is weird 
Okay, back to investigating. Do, uh, you have any pink chalk? No, it's gone somewhere. Hmm. Do you want blue? No, no, it's okay. Psst, Lee. I found something. What is it? I found this piece of pink chalk and a scuff of it over by the gate. Really? Totally. I was calling the scene for clues and... Yeah, Duck, I got it. Good job. You didn't break the flashlight, did you, Duck? No. Mom and Dad won't let me touch any of their stuff. Lily neither. That's probably for the best. Have you found anything else? Just the chalk. I also found some bugs underneath the stairs. Don't tell Clementine. Okay, I won't. You seem to know a bit about all of this. The chalk, you found the scuff here. This is gonna sound crazy, but you're not involved, are you? No, I'm a good guy. Stay inside the gate. I will, I will. More chalk. Somebody was over here, too. See? I did good, huh? Yeah, Duck. You did. I suppose I should go out there and look around. You stay here this time. Seriously. Okay. Bandits gave us hell, but they've been quiet for days now. There's a grate down there. You haven't come up with anything, have you? I came up with this. It's got a bunch of meds in it. It was in a grate on the outside wall. And there's a sign on the other one. Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, we line everybody up. Everybody. Somebody is killing us. Stealing from that supply is the same as slipping into your room at night and cutting your throat while you sleep. You die. What is the difference? What if Clementine gets sick and we don't have what we need? What the hell? You don't fucking steal from us! Who the fuck is that? Y'all better get your out ass there. out here! We ain't fucking around! What do we do? Oh Lily. shit! They're gonna start kicking in doors any second. Lily, what the hell are you- Stall him. What? Just keep him talking. Do whatever it takes to stop him pulling the trigger. You made the biggest mistake of your life! Enough of this bullshit! Drew, stop putting your boot to these doors! Yeah! Hold it, asshole! Make it easy. Why are you doing this? Just leave us the fuck alone! Why? This fucking guy. Why? Because we gotta! That's why! What will it take to reach a deal? About twice as much as you've been giving us. Got it. Done. Is that so? Well, I suppose we ought to hash out some terms then. I don't like no hands. And shut up, bro! Christ! Oh, shit! Ugh! 
Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm sorry. Everything's fine, Ben. Everything's not fine. We need to figure out how this happened. We just lost everything. Well, we're lucky as shit to have this RV. And nobody died. Pat's head is split open. I'm fine. Somebody in here caused this. Settle down back there. The bandits have had our number for weeks. This is different. Somebody was working with Whoever it was was slipping them our meds. They didn't get their last package, so they attacked. Calm down back there. That's nuts. Lee found a bag of supplies hidden outside the wall. It's true. So, Carly, is there something you want to say? Please. We have to get it out of you then. Back off. You are in no position to make demands. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're just pointing fingers. I didn't just come up with this. I've had my suspicions. Holly's trustworthy. She's not a traitor, Lily. Thank you, Lee. She can fight her own battles. Unless there's something going on here that implicates you both. Don't be ridiculous. Like, look, maybe we should uh, vote or something like that. Vote? What? Just look. Carly's a stand-up gal and maybe this was all just a mis- Let's just let it go. People make mistakes and yeah, this is a fucking doozy. But it's not worth it, Lily. And what do we not forgive? Honestly, tell me. Kenny can kill my dad. Carly can steal from us. Where's the line? Nobody was stealing anything. Was it both of you? What? I've seen you two together. Was it both of you? Look, just let me out. I didn't do it, but I don't like this. I don't like where it's headed. Look me in the eyes and tell me you didn't have anything to do with it. Lily, lay off of him. I... Shit! What's going on up there? I hit something. We gotta stop. Alright, well, we can deal with this now then. Kitty, is it safe? Should be. Everybody out. Lily. Out. Yeah. <laughs> 
Penny, the RV has some surface damage, but there's a walker trapped underneath. God damn it. Everyone keep your eyes peeled. You know what? We shouldn't just Fucking kick you out. Thing ripped we should in hear half. what everybody thinks. I think you should chill out. I'm not gonna take this. You can push Ben around, but you can't push me around. I'm really sorry you feel that way. I'm starting to think maybe it was both of you. No! There's no way it was Carly. It was somebody else. It could have even been someone sneaking into our camp. That's ridiculous. That's what you think? Yes. Okay, fine then. Kenny? I don't know. Fuck. Just stop, would you? Well, your vote counts for you and Katja. We don't need all these votes. What do I have to do for you to trust me? I'll do anything. I'll, I'll do watches for months. Huh. The hell you will. I'll get more food, more medicine, anything. Just... You think any of that is good now? Just let me stay, please. God, please. You're pathetic. Look at you. Stop panicking. Seriously, Ben. You need to stop and just take a breath. Do we need any more evidence than this? Fuck evidence. Stop treating him like this. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Penny, what's it gonna be? Just give me a damn minute. Ben, you have until that walker is dealt with to tell me it was her and not you. Stop this. You're torturing him. No. Ben, stop. Ah, this is about you, trust, and I've shit. never trusted you. Tell her. Just do it, Ben. Wait, Jesus, well, who are you right Tell now? Her what? She'll kick me out of the group. We won't. We'll understand. Tell me. Now. There. I got him. Please, let's just get back in That's the That's not RV. happening. You think you're some tough bitch, don't you? Like nothing can hurt you. But you're just a scared little girl. Get the fuck over it. Take a page from Lee's book and try helping somebody for once. Now, what the fuck's the problem? Drop it. Holy fuck. Benny, what's happening? You duck away from the windows. Jesus Christ. Get in. We're leaving this crazy bitch. She couldn't be trusted, Lee. I swear. Please. Just get in. We'll figure out what to do with you. It's a bad idea, Lee. She's a murderer for shit's sake. I'm a murderer? You've had Lee with you this whole time. I don't care what he did before. You know? Yeah, he told me. I don't give a shit. If we keep you with us, how long until you get me? I was trying to protect all of us. I don't have anything left. Whatever. Just get in. Lee, a word, please? What's up? Is Duck feeling all right? What the fuck happened during the raid? What's the plan? We've never had a bite victim in the group before. I'm going to keep an eye on him and see what I can do from a medical perspective. We keep the same plan unless something changes. East. Guys. What else is there to do? We thought you should know. Important to stay honest with each other. Anyway, if you could tell Clementine, we would appreciate it. Uh, 
Ruck is bitten. Huh? He got bit by a walker trying to escape the motel. I... don't feel good. What about Carly? There was no time for a burial. Walkers? Yeah. Horrible. you outside my treehouse that day and thought about dropping a hammer on your head. Uh, that's nice. I didn't though. Thanks. Got something up ahead. Damn it. Roads blocked. Now we got to deal with this. Is there any way to get around it? Doesn't look like it. On foot, maybe. Can't really afford to do that now. This seems like a safe area. All this brush will stop anything from creeping up on us. And I'd like everyone out of the RV except her. I don't want folks trapped in there with her. Why don't you and I go look around? Yeah, everyone else relax. Claire, stay close to Kenny and Kat, okay? Lee, if you come across anything to drink, uh, if there's a dining car or something, I think Duck's a bit dehydrated. It's a freighter, hon. Be careful in there. What? You think there might be something dangerous inside an abandoned locomotive? Hadn't crossed my mind. Sitting here tied up like an animal while you guys decide what to do with me. It's not like that. And what's it like? Lily. A pencil. Sharpened too. Come with me. We could take the RV right now. He left the keys in it. No way! Didn't think you would say yes. I can't let you take the RV. Don't be crazy. You're not letting me take it. Sorry, Lee. I really am. <laughs> Holy shit! She's stealing the RV!
Let's focus on the train. Well, we're fucked if we don't figure out how this thing works. Can't spend the night out here. Elk is still sick, you know. We need to get to the city, the coast. So, but this looks recently used. Be on the lookout and have your guard up. I'll take this to Country for Doug. Where the train goes. I think these tracks might lead to the coast. Route 27, Savannah. That's where Kinney's got us headed. keep thinking about. Like, somehow that matters. It doesn't. I know. Well, I don't. But you're probably right. We found this in the boxcar back there. Whoa, is this what it looks like? I think so. These tracks lead right to Savannah. Holy hell. Can you guys see about moving that thing? We could have something here. Yeah, we're on it.
got one. Walker, sitting in the chair. We got him. We gotta look him over. Yeah. I don't think this guy came back. Christ. That light is blinking. Push it. Push it. Why not? Are you fucking serious? Here, look. It's just the brakes. Okay, I'll give you that one. This fucker works? Seems like it. I'll be damned. How the hell do we get it moving? I don't know. Ask Mr. Amtrak over here. No clue. Well, let's look around. Maybe it goes somewhere we'd like to be. Man, if you could keep an eye on the girls and duck, I'd appreciate it. I'm gonna make sense of these controls. Man, this could be exactly what we need. A bunch of maps about Georgia's cities. Nothing about the train. Nothing about the train. We got a problem. What? We still got the rest of the train attached to us back there. Shit. I tried to yank the pin out, but it won't budge. Well, we ain't going anywhere until it does. Shit, this is it. Instructions on starting the engine. Damn, pages are gone. I can kind of see the indentations from the writing. Perfect. You can read it now? Yeah. Should be able to just follow the steps to get the engine on. Sounds good. Ooh. Son of a bitch! Whatever you did, lit the dash up! So far, so good. Now we're talking.
Holy shit! We're golden! Yeah, we are. Golden. Man, it feels good. Let's fucking enjoy this. Mom, let's see if she'll move. Bunch of force to break away all this rust and whatnot before I can pry anything free. years. Damn it. Of course, we're still attached. Can you go find out where we're stuck? Get us unstuck? Yeah. Hey, Kenny, we're loose! You touch any of my stuff? Chuck. Charles, if you fancy. Lee. 
That your crew outside? Yeah. And the guy up in the cab? Him too. I saw you walking through here and thought about scaring the pants off you. What? But I couldn't force myself to do it. You're still kind of freaking me out. Brain folk will do that. Already met everyone outside. They all warmed to me right quick in direct sunlight. You met Chuck? Yeah, I did. It's so nice to meet someone normal for a change. He gave us candy, Ben too. Yeah. You met Kenny? Sure did. Man shares my love of the road. That's for certain. <coughs> I'm awful sorry your son's not feeling good. I appreciate your concern. Well, with a little TLC, I'm sure he'll be fit as a fiddle in no time. And I can offer y'all whatever I got, although it ain't much. Thank you. We'd like to do the same. Why don't we hold off on... Uh... Stay with us. We'd like the company. How you doing, Ben? I'm watching the girls and not working on a mega cool train. What do you think? Hey, sweet pea. That candy Chuck gave you. The taste okay? It was really good. No funny aftertaste? No. Train's cool, huh? I guess. Scary, kind of. Stuck. I don't know. Tired. Which could mean a lot of things, right? Yeah. His body's probably fighting whatever's in it. Exactly. Has Clementine said anything to you about Connie or Duck or anything? I'm worried about her. No. That little girl is a puzzle. Yeah, she is. Poor Carly. God, where did yesterday go? I don't know. Are you okay? I know you were fond of her. I was. This isn't any time for, you know, romance, but yeah. I was, uh, fond of her, yeah. Sorry about the RV. I'm worried. We're really on our own out here now. Well, we're putting some time into this train. Worst comes to worst. Boxcar is safe enough to sleep in. Anyway, let me know if anything changes here. So that's it? We're cut loose? Seems that way, yeah. Great. We don't got much left, so just gather whatever you have. Let's go. Well, it sounds like you're taking my home. That's a yes, then. Haven't found anything better for keeping the creepy crawlies out than that boxcar. Duck's sick. Get on the train, Clementine. He's getting sicker. Let me look at him. We can keep going if you want. Damn right I won't. That's what we're doing. I think Lee just wants to talk it through. It's talked through! Get on, Kent. I'll be up front. I don't want to hear any nonsense until we get where we're going.
gotta be hard on you, eh? Three adults taking care of three kids. No disrespect, son. There were more of us. Ed, get him. Yes. Oh, it's a shame. Lee. Lee, I need you right now. I need you to go get Ken. What, sir? Would you get that off his face? My hands are full here. Could you just get that off his face, please? He's out of time. We need to stop this train. Okay. Please. Stop the train. Gotcha needs you, Kenny. Duck will be fine. I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that right now. Go back there and tell my wife everything will be fine. What is the goddamn deal? He's a little sick, but we can't just quit. It's a scratch. He's not like the others. Jesus, all y'all are just making it worse. You're in denial. And you've given up on Duck, on everyone. Stop it, goddammit. Fuck you, Lee. You're gonna listen. Or what? Calm down and... How the fuck do you calm down after a day like today? By talking to your friend. How many sons are you gonna let die? Shut your mouth! doesn't need you! I told Kaja I'd get you to stop this and you bet your ass I'm gonna. Don't give a fuck that we don't get along. I'm not letting you do this to Cat and Duck! You want to hurt people because you're afraid! Losing duck ain't enough for you! Because you're fucking lose everything acting like this! I'll fucking kill you before I let that happen! Always been bit, in case you haven't figured that out. Take as long as you need. There ain't no time left to take. What are we gonna do? We can't allow him to become one of those things. But what if what if he doesn't? Kenny, I love you. 
very much. I love our son more than life itself. I need you to hear me. What you are saying, that he may not turn, is foolish. But... No. There's... Come on, Cat. If you think of one, you let me know. Isn't there some sort of pill or something we can just give him? Stop it. He can just drift off to sleep. Right, hon? I mean, Jesus, this is our son. I know. But we know it's here or nothing. Fuck. Just who, then? You want me to? You don't have to. I'll do it. No, you don't have to. God, you fuck. I, I, I can. I can do this. You can't. I love you, Ken, but this is beyond you. Stay with me. Your son loves you, and you should remember him as the silly boy we used to have. Not this. What's happening? Dodger's taking care of Doug. I thought he was going to die. She's making sure he's okay. But how? He's bitten. She's making sure he doesn't come back. Oh. Look, Clem. Things are... No. God! People die. Not anymore. The walkers aren't dead. People don't die anymore. Well, can't you make sure Duck did? I know. I'm gonna go get her. She's probably a mess. Ben, get Clementine on the train, all right? And keep your eyes open. Get, get, gotcha. Why, cat, honey? Oh, fucking God. <laughs> She couldn't. She, 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 she just. F oh, 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 fuck! Dad, you gotta do this. Just put an end to it, man.
It'll be okay. It'll be okay.